Welcome back to my channel, this is Toasted Gaming and today we're starting a new series. In this one we're gonna be playing games based on movies. I would I would play all of them but problem is it's impossible. There are some that are on console that just are impossible to play. It's like dedicated consoles and when there's weird computers and stuff. So this is the oldest one I could find. This is a game from 1978. Look, we're gonna start it immediately. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Released in 19... Oh, there is, it's very long. Um, yeah, so this game was released in 1978, based on fourth movie, but it's an unofficial game. It was made by Apple, for Apple II computer, so... We'll see what this is. Um, it's a game from 1978, so we shouldn't expect too much. I'm... I'm toasted. What is your name? Oh, have you flown before? Let's say yes. What was your rank? Uh, let's say one. I'm space pilot trainee only. Yep, one. That's me. The war games are about to begin. So this is the oldest game based on a movie that I could find. How do I aim? I don't know how to aim or shoot, so... Oh! Oh, that's how I shoot. Look, 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 guys! It's not going well. <laughs> I don't understand this game. I'm just running out of power and I can't do anything. I can't aim. How do I look to the side? I don't know guys, let's go with another game. And next game is called Star Wars The Empire St Strikes Back. Almost said it wrong. So this one's from 1982 for Atari 2600. How do I play? Oh, okay, so it's based on the fifth movie in Star Wars series. I've seen, I've seen Empire Strikes Back. I, I like it a lot. It's not my favorite Star Wars movie. Movie. It's Return of the Jedi, the sixth one. But I can, it's so loud. I can decrease sound. I mean, not sound. I can sound too, but... Oh, okay. But I mean, I can decrease my speed. Is it down there? Okay, this is not as easy as I thought. Okay, okay. I I'm gonna improve. So this was developed by Parker Brothers 1982. You might know Parker Brothers best for making Monopoly and Clue and I don't know, more board games. But they made this one in 1982. They had their gaming division. Also, that's not how they defeated those things. I don't remember their name, but, you know, they used wires around their legs to make them fall down. So this doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. Ah, please do not, I'm doing damage. Oh, I am. How many shots do they survive? I'm so fast now. Please tell me I'm doing any damage. Nope. That one's dead. Oh, there's more! I thought the, you defeat four and game is over. It's not. This is not very fun. But it's game from 1982, so what do you expect? Okay, that's it. I'm not playing this anymore. Cool. Oh, also this game was ported to an Intellivision in 1983. Probably that version is a bit better, but we'll never find out. So here we have another game. This one's on Vectrex, and it's called... I guess you already know. It's Star Trek The Game. I guess based on Star Trek The Motion Picture, but this one was released in 1982, so... When was first Star Trek released? I don't know. Um, how do I... Okay, player one, game... Oh, can we do game one? 
Ready Captain. I don't know what to expect this game from 1982 on Vectrex, a console that I'm pretty sure will we're not getting to play with on this series again. It's reversed. Also, it's just lines. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Sound is broken. No, it's not. <clears throat> okay. It was developed by a company called GCE. Who were the people who actually made Vectrex? Never heard of this console before today. Look, I'm way better now. Wonder how much this game cost. No. Is that where I ended my level? It's not that bad, actually. It's 3D. Does this count as 3D? <laughs> okay, one last try. This is the most fun game yet. And it was published by Milton Bradley, a company that I heard somewhere. Okay, that's enough. Let's play something else now. Our next game is called Tron Deadly Discs. This one was released in 1982 based on movie Tron, which I never seen. I hear it's a very good movie, but I don't know how it happened in life. Can I play it? I tried it, it worked before. Okay, it works now. So, yeah, it was developed, it was released in 1982, developed by a company called Mattel, probably heard of them. All right, guys. And also it was ported to Intellivision in 1982. And in 1983 it was released for Mattel Aquarius. I never heard of that console. So, we just throw this? Those this side deadly, that's, that's for sure. What? It doesn't work from other side? So I can throw and I can get it back whenever I want. But pressing it again. Okay. There's not much to talk about those games. Except that I heard that Ron is a very good movie. I'm talking about the original one. I haven't seen any of them. Played Tron 2.0 a bit. That was a good game. Good FPS game from 2003. Developed by Monolith. Yeah, so that's... This is the game. We're just throwing deadly discs in... In arena. There's more enemies. We lose our health. And at some point we die, and that's our final score. For, for 82, this is actually pretty cool. I wonder, is there a two-player mode? That would make the game even more cool. I, I just don't like how when you hit enemies from... Huh? When you hit enemies from behind, you know, when your attack is coming back, the disc, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's enough. Let's play another game. And here we have another game. This one's called Godzilla. You all know Godzilla, right? It's based on... This game is based on one of your Godzilla movies. I have no idea which one. I haven't seen any of them. And this was made by Codeworks. And it's... It was released in 1980 for Commodore Pet. I'm playing 1983 upgraded version. Updated. For Commodore 64. It says press joystick button to begin. Okay. Setting up, I have no idea what we got ourselves into. <gasps> Whoa, it's building Japan. <laughs> um, oh, I'm playing as Godzilla. The turn-based game. So I can do land attack. Yeah, that looks like Japan. Not land. It's not? Let's do sea attack. I don't think I'm playing as Godzilla. Oh, maybe I am. One ship sunk. For 525 dead. Cool. We're still on water, so let's do an air attack. No plan. Uh, well, I don't understand what we're doing. Maybe just missiles. Some damage to Godzilla, 208 dead. So I'm not playing as Godzilla? I don't know. Drop an atom bomb. That's it. Really? Yes. Yes. Bomb detonator. I hope it's worth it. We're gonna destroy Godzilla. There's 
There's no way it's gonna still be standing in water. Did I win? Doesn't look like it. What? Oh! 8000 died. Grave damage to Godzilla. You win? Nope. Godz Godzilla got atom bomb dropped on itself. It's still moving. Um, do a sea attack. No, no ships. Then air attack. No planes. Then more missiles. Oh my god, millions died. Severe damage to Godzilla. Do land attack now. How many? I don't know, all. Bad number. Damn it. Then land attack. How many? Five. Five thousand. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, enough. Enough. Let's play other game now. Next game we have is Alien, based on 1979 movie Alien, which is a good movie. I prefer Aliens, but yeah, Alien was good too. So, guys, look at this and tell me which game does it remind you of. Bomberman? No. <laughs> it's Pac-Man. It's just Pac-Man. I can also do whatever that is. Can I, maybe I cook, can cook those pellets? So am I playing as Ripley? What is... Let's kill one of those... What? <laughs> this game sucks. It's just worse version of... Pac-Man. How were... How were Fox allowed to do this? This was developed by Fox Video Games back in... 1982? Or Atari 2600 and a few other consoles, I think, I just don't remember, I didn't care. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Can I actually do it? That'd be cool. Yeah, but this is... This sucks, this is stupid. And I did it! Wait, there's more... Okay, it's not... Okay, I take it back, it's not just... Pac-Man, now we're crossing the street, now it's Frogger. What? Nobody hit me. Ugh, I don't want to play this anymore. This sucks. I wish I had those sounds. Shut up. Also, there was this game is called Alien. There was only one Alien. Why are there like three now? And also, that next part that looks like Frogger. I don't think I can kill them. That next part that looks like Frogger. It has like 10 aliens. Do they predict next movie? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, this sucks. I don't like this. Yeah, let's play let's play other game. I don't wanna play this anymore. And here we have next game. This one's from 1982. It's called Alien, based on movie Alien. Uh it's for a console called Sinclair ZX81. It was a predecessor, predecessor of um, ZX Spectrum. You guys might know that one better. Do I want instructions? No! So I think it's just a text game, so that doesn't sound fun. Okay, it's... it's tiny. <laughs> alien has two hundred points. It's not... it's not based on aliens. It's based on alien, you know, a horror movie, not an action movie. We have four crew. Alien has two hundred points. You are carrying... Nothing. So how do I play this? Um. Yeah, I don't know how to play this. How do I move? Problem is, I don't know controls. Look, I can do... Uh, nothing. I can't write. I can't move. I can't do anything. Oh, look. Dim. DFL. <laughs> no, I'm not playing this. I give up. I give up. Let's play something else. And next game we have is... Oh, no. It's E.T. 
A game that made the game industry crash. It's so loud again. <laughs> Some of those games are very loud, others are just fine, so I, I don't know how they decided. So, I've seen people play this game. There's nothing fun about it. But what's weird to me, I don't understand how did this game make a video game industry crash. It wasn't profitable. This game cost so much to make and you know company lost tons of money, okay? It was just a tire, so what? Oh, I'm flying now. Yeah, this is a very, very bad game. And yes it was buried in the desert. Was it? Was that the story true? How do I What? Oh I just I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I'm in hole. I, I got back to it again. <laughs> Just, I don't want to play this. Developed by Midway. I mean, Atari. I mean, Atari themselves. <laughs> How? There's only... There's not that many buttons. Please don't fall into the hole anymore. <gasps> what? This doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna go crazy. I hate this. This is the worst game ever. It's... Uh, I don't know, maybe it is. <laughs> Please, no more... F oh my god! This sucks. It's impossible to get out of that hole. Please, no more falling into the holes. Guys, I never seen E.T. a movie. Um... Does this have any similarities to the movie? Okay, so I guess we wanted this hole. And he just fell into the hole again. <laughs> this is the worst game ever. I hate this so much. How? What am I doing wrong? Just don't. Okay, one last retry. One last restart. If I... If I screw up again, but I need to go into the hole, so I don't understand. Get away, man. Get away from me. He's in the house now? And I fell into the ground. There isn't. I'm, no, I'm not playing this shit anymore. Next game is Mega Forest. Uh, also a game from 1982. How do we start? And I started. So I have no idea what this movie was because I never seen Megaforce. Never even heard of it. Was it good? Guys, was was Megaforce a good movie? If you've ever seen it. This was developed by Fox Video Games in 1982. Just for Atari 2600. Nothing else. I'm on a bike, I guess. Or is that... Motorcycle. I guess it is a motorcycle. What am I supposed to do? I can destroy palms. I can only move a bit of the bottom. I can fly. What? And now invisible stuff hit me. There's, there's a whole city, or is that Kremlin? Ah, there's look, guys. There's some action on the ground, in the sky. Well, this is better than E.T. Defend. What does it mean, defend? Oh, I, get, oh, I have to defend the city. Uh, one last try. I just destroyed part of the city myself. No! It's so hard to fly. Maybe it's not... Well, no. Controls are not very fun. Whoa! Fuel! Okay, last try, I promise. From this is your last try. Oh, I already lost? Like, for life? Okay, I'm not playing this anymore, this sucks. And next game we have is called Raiders of the Lost Star. Based on first Indiana Jones movie. It's so loud. Oh my god, my ears are bleeding already. <laughs> okay, first level, first level. Look, I'm definitely playing as Indiana Jones. I can see that classic hat. Also, there was a snake. I hate snakes. What are the controls? I can walk. And that's it. 
Okay. Oh. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> what am I looking at? Are those trees? What's in the middle? Uh, I don't know. The, why does... No. Why does this look like E.T.? Also, who is that? A bad man? He, he doesn't fall into the hole. I can't. I can't move. Oh, I can. No, those are not holes. Those are trees. We're in a forest. Oh. Just like... Is he having sex with me? Uh, I thought he was going to kill me, but no, I don't... I don't know what's happening. What the hell is this game? Let me go! The only thing that he does is makes you... Angry, because... You can't walk, that's it. He doesn't do any damage. Also, there's... Bugs flying? What? I remember AVGM played this game and he hated it. I'm starting to see why. What? I can't go any... Let's restart the game. Yes, 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 yes. I like this movie. It's my second favorite Indiana Jones movie. I've seen all four. Good stuff. I like all of them. But one that I like the most is third one. I think Sean Connery was a great idea as in this finder. So this is same place again. Uh, I just I don't know. Can we? He took something from me. Give it back. Um, what? I can't move. He keeps touching me. Stop it. Stop touching me. Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with him? I can't, I can't outrun him. There's bugs biting my ass. This is how, this is how first diarrhea was found. <laughs> No, I don't know where I'm going with that. That's that's what ABGM would say. He loves diarrhea. No, I don't want to play this anymore. Please tell me that I can leave this place. <laughs> no, I'm no, no, no. I quit. It, it's enough for me. Next game we have is called Fantastic Voyage, based on 1966 movie, also called Fantastic Voyage. Let's start the game. So. I never seen that movie. I heard the name before, but not because of a what? But not because of a movie. Because Julio, you know, guy we made Gangsters Paradise. Also, rest in peace. Oh, that I can shoot. He made a song called Fantastic Voyage, and I didn't know it was a movie until now. But I heard. I think I heard of a movie. I just didn't know it was called Fantastic Voyage. It's a movie where, for some reason, I don't know why, but people with miniaturized sp spaceship goes into a human's body. But I think I know that because that stuff happened in Simpsons? It happened in Rick and Morty, I remember. <laughs> and in many other things. This is just a classic spaceship shooter for Atari. This was published by Fox Video Games and also released in 1982 for Atari 8-bit. Haven't played anything on Atari 8-bit yet, but you know, it's only 82, maybe we'll get to that. And we're dead. And that's enough. And that's enough. No, 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 no. Let's go to the next game. And next game we have is Halloween, based on a movie called Halloween, which was released in 1978. This game was released in 1983, so five years later. I remember seeing AVGM play this game. It's not a good game. But maybe it's graphically the best one yet? Oh my god, he just killed that kid. I think graphically it's among the best we've seen today. But is it most fun? I don't know. I don't know. So I need to rescue kids and then kill Michael? Am I playing as Lori? 
she had blonde hair? Oh yeah, I think she did. Um, yeah, the movie Halloween was made by John Carpenter, my favorite director of all time. I've seen all of his movies at least once, most of them twice. My favorite one is The Thing. Yeah, The Thing. The Thing is so good. Among the best movies I've ever seen. Also, In the Mouth of Madness is amongst my favorites. And Assault on Precinct 13? In the other title? <laughs> I've seen that a few times too. That, that's also. That, those are my top three, I think. Yeah. Vampires is awesome. Just watch it again. Like a month or two ago. Oh uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. There's no kids. I keep looking for them, there's just none. I can't walk to that direction. Okay. Nope. So we saw one kid and it was and he was killed very fast, but How do I trick him? There's I can't go any lower, so there's no way I can trick him. Ah, uh, this is this is not fun. The game was developed by Wizard Video Games. We didn't port it to anything else, cause who cares? How do I trick him? You know, there's not many buttons. It's just what? Can I look through the window? Also, these are the longest holes I've ever seen. Oh, that's how you take him. <gasps> Come here, you baby. I can't go any lower. Is that a bug? Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. No! Okay, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> um, no. This sucks. The song is... I mean, I like the song, but not in this game. Okay, that's it. Let's play another game. And last game of the day is... Tron. Something, something. I don't remember. I wrote full name in the description at the bottom. Um, so this game was released in 1983. I think it's called, yeah, it's called Discs of Tron. Yeah, so I just want to do one player game. I try it a bit. It's, you'll see. So, yeah, this was released in 1983 for Arcade, developed by Midway. And later, I don't know why, but in 2008, they ported it to Xbox 360. In 2015, they ported it to Xbox One. That's a weird one. Tron? Zero. Three lives, I guess. Let's start the game. Yeah, there is no sound, I'm sorry, but... This is the game. You just... Throw discs and you try to hit each other. Yeah, I'm sorry that there is no sound. I don't know why, but... Look! This is cool, this is 3D? This is not 3D, right? Oh, okay, I got hit. I can imagine myself enjoying this in 1983. It has some cool effects. Yeah, it is 3D actually. Oh, look at me, double hit. I dropped like 7 credits and I don't know why. This is how you do it. Look. Look, guys. No, he's not as bad as I thought. Maybe he is. I really need to see Tron. Look, I won. I really need to see Tron. I'm getting no information about Tron by playing those games, but at least I can see what kind of action it has. Oh, look, this is different. Two versus two. Uh, that's not two verse. What? Damn, he got some good hits. So I can fall myself. Wait, can I walk? Wait, wait, wait. Can I walk forward? End of the game? No, I, I dropped in more credits. Okay, you know what? No, that's enough. That's enough. So, yeah, we played a lot of games based on movies. We're just starting. We only played up to 1983. I wonder which year is it gonna get more fun. Maybe 88? I feel like 87 or 88 is where we're gonna start getting some fun. These games are very old. You play them for a minute with my 
97 brains, it's not that fun. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.